Welcome to DowerChain.com. All right, today we're going to talk about using the Razer Core with the HP Spectre X360 13.3 inch laptop. My version here is the 4K version, and um, there was a bit of a little bit of uh, process to get it to work. It, um, some folks have had better luck than the, than I have had because basically when I plugged it in, it didn't really understand it. So, for example, uh, if I had to plug it in now, what's going to happen is uh, I guess I'll plug this into the port here. Get it lined up right. Uh, the, the core will go on, and it'll make noise, but it actually won't discover. So you, in the, the tray here, normally a little blue, blue and white icon with the the Thunderbolt would actually show up, and indeed it does not show up. It just doesn't work. Even if I were to run the Thunderbolt software here and run that, you'll see that it'll kind of blink and it kind of runs, pops up over here and then just usually kind of goes away on its own, see, it goes away. So that's a problem. Uh, it just doesn't it doesn't work out of the box. Cork turns on, and uh, some of the per peripherals do work, but it just itself, it doesn't, uh, actually, no, none of the peripherals work. Never, never mind, it does not work. It just doesn't recognize it. It doesn't connect. So how do you fix that? Well, uh, you know, there aren't a lot of explanations out there to how to fix it, but really what you have, it's a couple of steps. First things first is the, if you have the uh, blue, uh, icon which is the HP assistant uh, you would run that or if you don't have it you would just run like type in HP support assistant there and when you run that it'll come up and it will show you your system information there we go it's the six moment there to come up and let's see I actually reset my entire PC just to kind of work make this video here um, let's see what is this all right uh, okay so but next okay fine okay so yes yeah, so I, I reset the, this pc to, to it's, it's it's factory default so what i want to want to do is you want to grab the serial number or the product number the serial number makes it easy so i click that copy it all right and then uh i can pull up a, a web browser like and since i reset the system i'll just use microsoft edge for for the purposes here and hit the hp website well, hp.com here once you get there you want to go to the support section and go to the uh, software and drivers section. And when you get there, you can paste your serial number in into the spot right here. Paste it and then find. So what it'll do is it'll find drivers that support the, your device. Now, one thing you want to do is uh, there's um, a, let's see, where is it? There's a BIOS right here. Okay, I already did this beforehand. You need to do this. Basically, it has to be the F31 Rev A and they dated May 5th of 2017. So download that and install that. So I already did that, so I don't have to do it again. But the other piece you need is you have to look at the controller section. And in here, there is a Thunderbolt controller driver. So you want to download that. This one is uh, a, let's see, I'm going to close this window here. And just will save this down here so it's basically the 16.2.52.250 rev a driver dated december 5th 2016 now uh you know you would expect that this is already installed but it, it uh seems to be but it doesn't work so uh what you're going to do is once it's downloaded uh, you're going to run that uh see run that and basically say yes and then just go through the steps to install it. And I accept the terms. Next and then next. And once it extracts itself and runs, we're actually done with this for the now, for the time being. Let me close that down. And now it just basically just goes to the welcome side. So it's going to actually, the options for installation are, are going to be blanked out because it's already there. What you're going to do is you're going to remove the driver. All right. So the only option available is to remove. So you remove that. And once it's removed, you're going to reboot the system and once rebooted you're going to install the driver and install it again and afterwards it should be fine so i'm going to unplug this so what's it what's it complaining about here that's interesting and yep so nothing nothing going on there it doesn't know about anything so unplug that all right so now that it's now that i removed it we're going to reboot the system all right so i'm going to hit this I'm going to update and restart. And it's going to rest and basically update itself and we'll come back once it's all done.
All right, so I'm back in the Windows after getting past the Windows Hello screen. So now that we have uninstalled the driver, we need to now put the driver in. All right, so I was in my Downloads folder, not my Documents. And let's uh, run this guy again. Although actually it probably was easy just to go right back to the place where it installed anyway. But all right, I'm just going to be doing, doing this. Uh, all right, that's uh, yes to all. Okay, so it's going to run through the setup this time, and now it's going to let me do it because now the driver is not there. So we'll accept that, install, and let this go. Okay, so now it's finished installing. So it's completed. All right, so we'll finish that. And if on the safe side, we'll reboot it one more time just to be sure that the driver is all set. Okay, so we're back in, and the system's getting ready. It turns on Windows Hello. All right, it saw me, so now it's in. Okay. So now we're booted back up into Windows. Well, hopefully this time it should pick up the uh, the Razer Core. Uh, let's see. Let's give it a moment for it to load all the all it needs to load first, just to give it a chance to get everything started up. Yes, yes, I know. OneDrive is not set up. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and plug it in. See what happens now. So what should happen is it should pure, uh, pop up. All right. Plug that in. As the core engages. And there it is. Indeed, there's a Thunderbolt software. Now, now it's working. Now it basically says new Thunderbolt device has been attached. We'll hit OK. And we'll hit yes on this. And all right. So now we want it to so it found it, the Razor Core. Now what we want to do is we want to say always connect. That way it'll just come in. Hit OK. Makes little noises. And let's get this little message is off the screen. Now you'll see that this stays on. The little Thunderbolt software icon stays on. And if you were to double click that, you'll notice that the attached devices now shows that my port 2 has a Razor Core. Click on that, it shows that the status is connected. And so if I were to pick up the device managers, the good old device manager, it disappeared on here. Where'd it go? There, device manager. Up here, run here. Now, if I look in the display uh, uh, drivers uh, area, it'll basically, well, all right, it says uh, Microsoft Basic Display Adapter. Now, the next thing you do is you go to the NVIDIA website and you grab uh, the drivers for the GeForce Experience. So I go to, let's see, Razer Zone, I think it leaves. Once I get there, I go to the support section and grab software. And uh, where is it? Uh, actually, no, I'm sorry. Uh, this is for the um, this will this will by itself decide to pick up the uh, Razer Synapse software. And so you, you know, I recommend installing that too. I want to go to the the uh, Nvidia site, Nvidia.com. All right, and once you get there, let's uh, see, so you go to North America, where I'm at. You, you know, obviously, pick where you're, you're supposed to be. And once you're there, eventually, go ahead and, and grab the drivers, download the GeForce drivers or the uh, GeForce experience. Just grab that, install that, and you'll be good to go. So hopefully this, this will explain how to get the, the HP... Spectre X360 2-in-1 to work with the Razer Core. Uh, you know, there's lots of videos out, out there showing how awesome it is. But um, if, if you're unlucky like me and didn't work the first time uh, and didn't know what to do, that's what you had to do. All right, so do the BIOS update. And then secondly, do uh, uninstallation of the current Thunderbolt driver. Then reinstall the latest Thunderbolt driver. Reboot, and you're good to go. So good luck out there. Thanks for watching.